Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 382. Um, each week, yeah, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, uh, SEO Questions, uh, Dumb SEO Questions uh, community on uh, uh, Facebook. Um, with us tonight, we have Tim Kappa. Tim, uh, actually, uh, Tim... Uh, um is CEO of onlineownership.com. He's also a Google product expert on the Google and My Business community. We're lucky we have him here. And um we have um seven or six questions to cover tonight. Let's um have a look at them. Um the first is one is from Kanjul Chowan. Um question well, it's crawl depth to the important of, of important pages of one or two instead of four. I have no idea what he means. Um, can you shed any light on that one, Tim? Well, the general the general thing that a lot of tools say is, you know, if your crawl depth is like over over three, I think. Or takes, uh, or if it takes long, you know, more than three clicks to get to something, then it's not ideal. Um, I think, you know, it, some massive sites unfortunately can't, you know, uh, prevent this. The thing that you need to do, the thing that you need to do, is make sure everything is. Uh, connected, either they can get to it easily from top line nav, or depending on, you know, it could be really deep, uh, if they get to it via, let's say, top line nav to the main category, then they should be able to at least get to it from that. Um, as long as you, as long as you really make sure that these are interconnected, linked, you know, breadcrumbs also help, then it's not really an issue. It's it's it, the issue is how easy can Google get to it or forget Google how easy can a user get to it. Um, so that's that's the important bit really. Thank you, Tim. Also, I can't go past with that. Thanking Michael Martinez for the uh, invaluable um, um, contribution he makes uh, to the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, every day he's there answering questions as they land, and uh, it's very much appreciated. It makes uh, Dumb SEO questions such a, a valuable resource. All right, uh, let's um, close that one off. We'll go to number two on our run list. This is from Shannon Bain. Shannon said, How to mis mitigate the risks uh, with redesign affecting. Uh, SEO, and that should be affecting, not affecting. Uh, I'll, we'll have to fix that. Um, anyway, uh, Shannon said, hi, everyone. I have a client who's looking to redesign slash rebuild their website, but they are concerned about losing their SEO rankings as well they should be. Um, I would obviously ensure that all keywords and sitemap remain the same, but can you share any information or advice you have around this, including how to mitigate the risks involved uh, with um, a redesign uh, affecting uh, uh, SEO, search engine optimization? Thank you. I think you answered this um, on, 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 the, on the site, Tim, on the, on the group. Did I? Um, but anyway, so the, f the first thing, you know, if, <laughs> if you are redesigning a site and now you're worried about, um, you know, your, your, your positions, why are you redesigning the site? Like, it, it, is it that bad in terms of, you know, I, I, I don't understand. I, I, um, I, I kind of really don't understand why you would be redesigning. Is it just bad UX? Is it on whatever the case would be? Anyway, typically, redesigned sites is 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 for better, 
you know, better SEO normally. But anyway, okay. So the things that I want to do, um, if so, the th so the things that I would certainly make sure on is that you, the content on the content on the page doesn't typically change. You know, as, as such, you're not going to radically change it <laughs> for the matching URL. So if it's forward slash pink fluffy elephants and uh, the new site is forward slash pink fluffy elephants, great. You know, you've got matching URLs that those don't need to be, don't need to be sort of 301 redirected or mapped. But if your content on one is drastically changing, um, then, you know, you need to look at that and be aware that, you know, that may potentially affect it. Equally, if you, you know, if you've interlinked from that, uh, from content, and, you know, so look, th there's a whole lot of things uh, involved. Basically, map any changes to your URLs. If you don't want any positions to change, you know, you need to be very mindful of what content you're changing. If you are changing URLs, map those URLs for 301 redirects, okay? And of course, if you are interlinking from any content within the site, which you should be, you need to make sure that those redirects are followed also direct. You don't want the 301 redirect. So if you've got a guide on there about how to dress pink fluffy elephants, um, which is linking to your pink fluffy elephant page, but that is actually changing, there's a 301 redirect involved, you need to go through and make sure that those are changed to the direct URL, not let the 301 take care of that, right? So there's, there's all those things, but it tends to be like, but tend to be, if you look at your content and making sure that all redirects uh, are properly managed um, and interlinking through the site, um, that would probably be my main, my main cause, cause of issues. You know, and you can't expect, you, and you can't say to, you know, if, for example, you had some, you, you know, you had some good structure and good content on the old site for Pink Fluffy Elephants on that page, and the new one, they are designing it with more image base and they've removed a chunk of text, you know, a chunk of the content, it, that, that may certainly affect it. Thanks, Tim. All right. Okay, let's move on to number three. This one is from James, James Fuller. Um, he said, Google can't see my redirect. We've, we've moved our website to a new domain. Our server is using cPanel, and I use the built-in utility to redirect the old domain to the new. I'm not sure, exactly sure how that works. Um, the pages are redirecting for the user, but when I try to perform an address change uh, in the Google Search Console, I, I get an error that Google can't fetch the page on my old domain. Likewise, it is not allowing the address change. Um, he said, I don't know, understand why Google wants to fetch the page from the old website uh, since it is being discontinued. I've removed the website from the old domain and it now just contains the HT access file and the Google identi identification files to prove ownership. Should I have left the old website intact? Is there something else I am missing? The, the old website is jimmymarvel.co.nz and the new website is kidsmagician.co.nz. We normally wouldn't want to change our domain, but the new domain is so much more SEO friendly that we decided it would be worth any temporary setbacks. Um, there's a lot of... Lot of um, Answers there for uh, James Fuller, Tim. Um, would you like to hand some of them out? Yeah, no, I think definitely what, what you know, Michael is, I defer to Michael on this. Okay, um, well, James Fuller, um, we've, we've, it's just Tim and I tonight, and um, 
Tim recommends that you look at Michael Martinez's uh, answers given on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, all right. The um, fourth one on our run list uh, uh, from Andy Trigg. He said, I forgot to add the nofollow on the href link. Um, <clears throat> Andy said, hi, I think I've come to the right place uh, because I did something a bit dumb. I always know follow all my affiliate links, but several months ago I introduced an affiliate link markup with a picture and a text link, but I forgot to um, add the no follow um, on, on the ahref link for the picture. I didn't realize and copied and pasted this mark, uh, this copy and paste this markup onto hundreds of pages. Duh. Um, how likely is it that I have been marked down badly for this? And is it likely to be okay once I've fixed it? Um, I, I, I honestly don't see the problem with you as an affiliate marketer linking to to the product. Um, you know, that, 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 that's what would be expected. Google doesn't sort of penalize affiliate marketers. Um, um, well, it could always co correct the issue, but, you know, Google is going to see that anyway. Um, even if it's no follow, they still follow. They just don't pass a signal across. Um, mm, oh, well, yeah, I mean, Michael, Michael again has got some good answers there. Yeah. All right, um, let's defer to Michael Martinez again, and we'll move on to number five. Is that a good idea? Yeah, yeah. I would, you know what I would do, Andy? I would actually speak to a lot, uh, actually get yourself involved in some affiliate marketing forums. and uh, They will provide you a lot more answers. Okay. <clears throat> All right, number five on our run list is from Rodrigo Bueno, and um, it's titled SEO Standard Procedure for New Clients. Um, <coughs> Rodrigo said, what is your standard procedure for new clients with hundreds of blog posts? Um, I don't know what he means. Well, if you've taken on a site, I mean, essentially you're going to work through the site first as agreed to whatever you agreed to with the client. If they've got hundreds of pages, um, yeah, they need to be looked at. You know, I would probably look at them at, at, at once you've done the main the, the main site. But you know, I, I would probably be looked at. You know, um, probably you know a good a good way for you to start looking at them is analytics. When last did any of them ever get any traffic? Um, also, you could just check what their positions are because there may not actually be any traffic associated with what the particular term was. Uh, then you need to manually look at them in terms of are they just thin and crappy? Like um, the thing from the our Christmas closed hours from December 2012. Yeah, you can remove that now. You just delete it. Um, and, and certainly work through and, and you, you know what I mean, and, and, and certainly sort it out. Also, look for potential, um, you, you know, a, a lot of these sites with, with, with um, tons and tons and tons of old copy, um, potential gold mines in there, which you can hit, um, you know, you can just put a bit of jigging around. You can, you can um, correct them and, and target a featured snippet with the content. 
Um, so yeah, they're an absolute gold mine. Um, get in there and you've you, you got to start, you know, working out, of course. And a lot of times if they've taken on SEO now and they've never had one, they probably haven't actually interlinked very well. So there's, there's, there's a huge potential with them, but sort, sort out your sites, your, the, the main site first, uh, and then start working through and they're definitely a gold mine. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the last question on our run list from Kunjal Chawan. Um, it's titled uh, SEO Objective of a Venture Capital Investing Firm. He said, um, what kind of SEO objective uh, does a, a venture capital investing firm, brackets, venture capitalists investing in startups, in brackets, um, uh, plan to achieve via SEO? What would be their key performance indicators and metrics? Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, surely the client <laughs> knows what they want to achieve. You can't, as an SEO, guess what they want to achieve. It's like, you know, are they, you know, are they a venture capital for a mining firm? Well, it would make no sense for them to rank for venture capital for swimming pools. Like, come on. Surely they should know. Um. I mean, if anything, you know, countries like what countries are are they are they able to you know uh, uh, work with? Uh, I don't, you know, they should know what they want. Um, I mean, so it's venture capital for investing in startups. Well, it's not. It's going to be limited, isn't it? So at least there should be proper categorization on 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 what they're doing what their minimum what their minimum you know whatever buy an investment potential whatever they're looking at um but they should certainly know um and the other thing would probably be at least at least for them i would say a lot of it would also be brand so knowledge panels um um yeah, like like just sheer branding on them, um, information on their main, the owners, the investors, things like that. I suppose they probably got a little bit of an ego there. Um, yeah, so so a lot of kind of branding, brand branding um, around their name. I would say that they would want to be seeing also. Yeah, fair enough, Tim. All right, I think when I click this button, yes, it is. Thank you for watching time. Um, I can't go without thanking the, the, the people who uh, answer our questions um, uh, every day through the week um, on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. And, um, of course, the, the, the people like you, Tim, who turn up every week, week after week. Um, and well, you know. I, I try to, mate. For you, for you, I try to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very much, mate. And uh, uh, well, that's about it. We'll be back at the same time next week. You know, we'll do this all again. But and in, in, for now, it's um, good night. If I can figure out which button I should press. Um, it must be that one, that's it. <laughs>